Is it possible to make more money while doing less work? That's the big question that I tackled on the podcast this week with Ryan Bowles. Ryan is a designer and entrepreneur that works with creatives and freelancers to help them grow their businesses. So that's the big question that every freelancer should be asking themselves. How can I make more money while simultaneously doing less work. It's easier said than done. In practice, uh, it can be a little bit tricky. Things can go wrong. Mistakes will be made, but that's just part of being a freelancer and, and following an untraditional path. Of course, you're gonna make lots of scropes along the way. Uh, when I was talking with Ryan this week, he talked about his light bulb moment. moment. The, the moment when things kind of clicked and he's like, oh shit, like this is, no, this is what I should be focusing on right now. But again, I was challenged by my mentor and it's, it's not an uncommon thing to be challenged by that what would happen if you doubled your rates? Great challenge to throw at someone. What would, you ha- what would happen? And I sat back and I was like, I had to think, like, I'm not the smartest you know, <laughs> tool in the shed when it comes to, I'm like, double my rates, huh? 10 clients, let's see. If I double my rates to $200, hmm, I might only get half the clients. Like not everyone might take me up on that offer, but I'd still be earning the same amount but working half the time. And I was like, cling, like cha-ching, you know, light bulb moment. I was like, I'm gonna try that. When I first started out as a, a freelance filmmaker, I was doing a lot of $100, $200 projects, very low budget stuff. Uh, and I was happy to get to work. And every once in a while, I would get these $1,000 projects, which were really exciting, but they also meant I had to do a whole lot of work. And then there was a moment, a moment that I shared with Ryan on the podcast when I got my first $10,000 project. It was a huge moment for me. That was my first $10,000 project. Right. So I was like, I'm going to stick at it. Yeah, like. dude, honestly, when I got that project, I was like, this is, I don't ever have to work again. I was like, this is it. I'm good. I'm so good for good. the year. I'm good. It made me realize what was possible. Yeah, and you have to go through that learning as well. Yeah, because before, so, dude, before that, it was like, I think it was $1,500 was my biggest project. Sure. And it was for so much more work. Yeah. And then I was like, uh, you know, I, I had learned through somebody at the company that, that I knew. He was like, hey, other people are pitching, and this yes. is what they're pitching at. And then I was like, really? <laughs> are you I, serious? I've got to stop right there. Like, for everyone going to be listening to this right now, like, that is like a groundbreaking like when that happens in your career, that's groundbreaking. Like, yeah. and you need to be challenged by someone outside because you don't know what's possible. We yeah. we get stuck as creatives, like in this, like just this track. That right there, I reckon that'll change. Who like someone listening to this podcast is watching on YouTube, wherever they're, yeah. you know, that's gonna be groundbreaking for them. Like, yeah. what you charge fifteen hundred dollars? I've been charging fifty dollars. Yeah, like that's yeah. all it takes. Like I said, it's 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 pretty simple in theory. Just charge more money. But when you actually start to put it into practice, it can be a little bit scary. It can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're not busy. So I don't, I wouldn't suggest doing this if um, you're not getting a lot of work in, if you're stressed about paying the bills, because I've been there before and I know that at that moment, all you need to do is get that $200, $400 project. Um, when you start to get a little bit busy, when you start to build up that client work, if you can fill out your schedule doing these $400 projects, that's when you can start to push it up a little bit. And I think the moment happens when you get a project that comes to you that you're not that excited about, that you're like, ah, doesn't light my fire, doesn't really inspire me that much. That's a moment when you say, screw it, I'm gonna double my rate. I would normally do this video for $400, but I'm gonna do it for 800 now. Uh, I recently had somebody ask a question on Instagram. He said, I'm doing $400 projects right now. I don't even know what a $4,000 project would look like. And my response to him was, it looks the same. It's the same exact video. And that's, that's the craziest part about this whole thing is that you're not giving them anything different. It's that you are pushing yourself further in your business. You are now becoming so busy and and people are seeking your work and your wisdom that you're able to charge more money. Um, And for me, as long as I can deliver to the client, as long as the client's happy with what I'm providing them, as long as they're thrilled and enjoy the experience of working with me, then I can charge whatever I want. 
there's, you know, don't worry about industry standards, what the other guy is charging down the street. If you are delivering a premium product, a product that customers and clients are happy with, you can charge whatever they are willing to pay. Uh, I would caveat that again by saying, make sure you deliver. Because I think that ethical is in, and, and having an ethically run business and having one where you're not scamming people is very important. Um, but that said, you can charge as much as the client is happy to pay. So my challenge for you this week and in the coming weeks, maybe in the coming months, the next time that you get a project that you aren't just so thrilled and excited to work on, the one where you're like, eh, do I really wanna take this? Instead of taking it for your usual rate or turning the project down, double, triple, quadruple your, your rate, do something crazy do something where you're like, there's no way that they're gonna accept this bid or this project and see what happens. Because those are the moments as a freelancer that you're gonna really push yourself further, that you're gonna prove to yourself what is actually possible. Thanks for watching. If you wanna check out the full episode, we've got a lot more tips and advice for freelancers. To watch the full episode, go to macdiavella.com slash 053. There's a link in the description. And if you want to find out more about this podcast and the other guests that we've had on the show, go to groundupshow.com. See you next time.